Hi everyone, I'm here today from Under My Blanket to bring you my January reading wrap up. During the month of January I managed to read 11 books, which wasn't anywhere near as what I wanted to do, but that's okay, 11 still put me ahead of my reading goals so far for this year, so this breaks down to 4 graphic novels, 5 net galley books, and 3 audiobooks. The first book I finished in the month of January was The Queen Bee and the Homecoming King by Krista McHugh. I gave that book four stars and it is a YA contemporary novel and for all these books by the way including this one I will leave links in the description box below to full reviews for them so if they sound like something you might be interested in you can go and check them out. Some of them might have video links, some of them might have just blog links, it depends whether I've got around filming a review for each one of these yet but this one definitely has a video link however this is the third book in a series. The first book being the Confessions of a Queen Bee, the second book being, I can't think, <laughs> but yeah, it's the third and final book in the Queen Bee trilogy, and I gave the first two books in this series five stars, and this third book four stars, so I quite enjoyed it, if you're into YA contemporaries it might be a series worth checking out. The second book I finished was Matilda by Roald Dahl, and I've been buddy reading the Roald Dahl books with Karis, I will link her channel down below. For all of this year, every month we will pick a different Roald Dahl book, and so during January we thought we'd start off with one of our favourites, Matilda. It goes without saying that we both absolutely loved rereading this book, and I gave it five stars. And if you've never read a Roald Dahl book, this is definitely a great place to start. The third book I finished in January was The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain, and this was my first audiobook that I finished this year. And to be honest, I wasn't a massive fan of it. It's a children's classic and you should definitely pick it up at some point if you never have. However, I'm not sure that the audiobook version that I had was the best best medium of which to pick it up. The quality was quite poor and as a result it affected my enjoyment significantly. Then we have The One by Kira Cass and this is the third book in the selection series and this series is up there with one of my all time favourite series. I've loved this series so much. I gave this book five stars, although it did start off a lot slower for me than the other two books did. But I ended up enjoying the, all three of them overall, and now I just need to really pick up the air sometime, as I, I absolutely love these books. Then the fifth book I finished this year was a net galley book, and that was This Is Where It Ends by... I keep messing this name up... Maria Kinichkamp? Sorry if I've butchered that name. And I gave this book three and a half stars, and this is a YA contemporary about a school shooting and I had a couple of issues with it, not as many as some people. This book seems to be very marmite -y. People seem to be absolutely loving it or hating it for the most part. I was one of the minority <laughs> sat in the middle on this one and I'm not really sure what seems to define whether someone enjoys it or not because some people seem to have issues with the same thing that other people like so if this sounds interesting to you, you definitely need to just pick it up for yourself. I highly recommend it. I think for the subject it's about, it's definitely worth a read for anyone who's even remotely interested. Then the sixth book I finished was another audiobook, and that was English Fairy Tales. And I gave that one three stars, simply because I enjoyed some of the fairy tales a lot. Others, hit or miss, so slap back bang down, almost in the middle at three stars. The seventh book I finished was again a net galley book, and... That was Adulthood is a Myth by Sarah Anderson and that was a graphic novel and it was very humorous and I highly recommend it. I gave it four stars. Four stars or five stars? One of those, but I, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. You need to check that one out. Then the eighth book I finished was also a NetGalley book and that was Grumpy Cat Volume 1 by Ben McCool and I gave that one three stars and again that was a graphic novel too and... Uh, I had a few issues with that one, but overall I enjoyed it. I think it's just better suited to kids than adults overall, but if you're a major, major cat lover, then you definitely need to check that one out. Then the ninth book, another NetGalley book, was Captara Volume 1 by Chip Zedarsky. And I gave this one two stars. It's another graphic novel, and it was meant to be weird. I got that it was meant to be weird. It's partly why I picked it up. But it was a bit too weird for me. I just, I, I struggled with it, to be honest. Then we have number 10, and again another net galley book, and this was Snoopy Party Animal by Charles M. Schultz. And 
Snoopy. What can I say? Snoopy. Snoopy gets five stars. Snoopy is just love. I love Snoopy. How can anyone not love Snoopy? Snoopy is just amazing. <laughs> and then finally the 11th book I finished in the month of January was Animal Farm by George Orwell. And this is another audio book pick for me. And to be honest, I started off really enjoying it but it just got a bit draggy for me in the end. It was just too... I got that it was meant to be political but it just got too rubbed in my face and in the end I just started losing interest a bit which is really sad because I love 1984 by Orwell so never mind. Sadly that was all I finished in the month of January even with being off work so a slightly poor effort on my part. Hopefully I'll get a lot of reading done in February although it's not looking at it right now as I'm doing a 60 hour working week almost this week so <laughs> reading's going right out the window currently. Hopefully I can get a few books done and I can stick with my reading challenge and not get behind, but we'll see what February brings. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to let me know what you've read in the month of January or if you've done a January wrap-up, feel free to link it in the comments down below and I'll check it out when I can. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more bookish videos from me and I will see you in a couple of days' time with a book review. Bye-bye!